Well, only two countries in the world allow drug companies to advertise directly to consumers, New Zealand and the United States. Pharmaceutical companies are spending billions of dollars each year to target you directly. So what do you need to know before your next doctor's appointment? Have you heard the news about Zyrtec? I want you to try prescription Asafex. Ask your prescriber about two-layer Ambient CR. In 1997, the FDA eased restrictions on pharmaceutical advertising. And over the next 10 years, prescription drug ads jumped 330 percent. I think that, that it's money misspent. Dr. Stephen Ridzak specializes in internal medicine at East Texas Medical Center. He and other physicians have concerns about the effects of pharmaceutical commercials. Yeah, we worry about patients uh, asking for drugs that they've just seen uh, on television being advertised. The, the problem that we run into is when patients become convinced that that's the thing that they need. Especially when considering the potential side effects. Headache may be a side effect. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. Ernest Dews is a pharmacist at Goods Pharmacy. The ones up front, those are ones that happen commonly, but others, as they continue the list, are rare. Ridzak says the commercials don't tell you everything you need to know. There's no doubt that television ads hype and oversell drugs. Like the price of the drug. The other thing that we worry about is. Uh, whether there, there is something that is simply more affordable, more economical that they should be taking. So which of these are maybe generic brands, name brands, that there's a difference in price? Here's one right here, Norvask and, and Lodipine. This is brand name Norvask, mm -hmm. and this is for 90 tablets, and 90 tablets run around $220. Wow. And this is the generic and Lodipine 10 milligrams, 500 tablets, price around $30. But Dew says less cost doesn't mean less effective. The same company that makes the brand 50% of the time makes the generics. So you're getting the same potent drug. On the flip side, Ridzak says there are some benefits to the billions of dollars drug companies spend on advertising. I think that the ads help and they, they have patients ask questions to their physicians. And there's never anything wrong with that. In fact, Ridzak encourages his patients to do research before their appointments. WebMD, as an example, and a number, another, uh, number of other websites, including the AMA, have information for patients. But once, once the patient sees an ad and they think that they may want to uh, try a certain drug, get on the computer, check a website, and read a little bit about these drugs, read about what they're for, read about the side effects, and, and get a sense about how much they cost. For links to those websites listed by Dr. Stephen Rudzek, visit our website, cbs19.tv.